Welcome to the seventh episode of the complete learning series of stock market investing and trading. As always, I've put this complete learning series into a playlist. I've given the playlist up here above. Make sure that you watch all the videos in the right order. Learn really well. Let's trade together and grow together. Intraday trading. Intraday trading. That's exactly what we are going to learn in this video. I'm sure you're all excited about this term and this trading style, which is intraday trading. To be very honest, in my early days also, I got into the market because I was fascinated by this world. Because when I go to social media, I could see a lot of people making ten thousands of rupees or lakhs of rupees every day. By intraday trading, and they're posting their profit screenshots on social media. I used to see that, and I was super fascinated. And to be very honest, to by seeing that, to do intraday trading is why and how I got into the world of stock market. And I know it's a very honest journey for most of you as well. Even you want to do intraday trading and make a lot of money in the world of stock market, right? Then all said, that is exactly what we are going to learn in today's video. Now I hope you watched. the last video the last video where we talked a lot about long term investment everything that you need to know about long term investment so let me set some context right before we get into this video now before that if you haven't watched this video make sure you watch that video also because i believe that is even more important than understanding what intraday trading is anyways the link to that video is given here now setting context here what are we here for what all can we do in the stock market I know you know this already, but let's uh, revise again. What all can we do in the world of stock market? Two things: we can either invest for the long term, or else we can do trading. Now, why do we invest for the long term? To grow your money, right? To grow wealth, to create wealth over time. We invest money into stocks, and we hold it for a very long enough period of time. We learned this yesterday, or in the last video. Now, speaking about trading, which is the second activity which can be done in the market, why do you do this? This is done to generate income, strictly to generate income. Now, I know in our series already, I have mentioned the word trading a lot of times. Now, what exactly is trading? What is this activity of trading? Long-term investment, you know, you buy the stock, it comes into your demat account, you hold it for a very long period of time. But what do you do here? In trading, the time period is shorter. You buy a stock. or it could be even be futures or options let's take stocks for simplicity you buy a stock at a small price or at a lower price let's say you buy a stock at 1000 rupees maybe sometime after it goes up to 1050 rupees you sell it there you made 50 rupees 50 rupees realized as cash as real liquid cash money in your account that is 50 rupees that you made now this is a trading activity you buy us you buy at a lower price and you sell at a higher price and you make profit there which is real liquid cash which is income for you correct this is what trading us now based on the time frame of this trading activity it is divided into two it can either be intraday trading or it could be positional or swing trading now the name itself suggests what time frame it is now intraday trading is an activity when you buy a stock on one day and you sell the stock on the same day itself before the market closes if you do both the buying and selling on a very specific single day and you make profit or loss whatever depending on your skill on your skill if you make on one specific day that is called intraday trading now say you now for an example say you bought a stock at 1000 rupees the market opened at 9:15 am you bought it at 9:20 am after one hour which is 10:30 am from 1000 rupees it went to 1005 rupees you sell it then and there itself you made 5 rupees profit that is intraday trading now for example you bought the same stock at 1000 rupees you held it on to it for maybe 2 weeks after 2 weeks this 1000 rupees stock went to 1100 rupees you made 100 rupees profit if you sell it at that point of time now there is a time period of 2 weeks there right that is called positional or swing trading where you are holding on to your trading asset which is a stock not just for one day but more than one day it can be maybe some weeks some months even but not years if it goes to years then it is long term investment now what is very important to be understood here is in long term investment you can only invest into stocks but when it comes to intraday trading and positional trading you can trade in either stocks we also call stocks as equity right you can either trade in stocks or equity or you can trade in futures and options now to set agenda of this video very clear now you have understood everything that is about trading intraday trading portion or swing trading right now to set the agenda of this video straight 
when i speak about beginners when i was a beginner when i'm looking around in the ecosystem and i'm seeing a lot of beginners everybody come into the market and the very first thing they are fascinated about and the very first thing that they do is intraday stock trading or intraday equity trading that is what we are going to learn in this video now then there is intraday futures and options trading positional stock trading positional futures and options trading we will learn them later at the right times because this is a learning series there's going to be 50 plus videos in this series a lot of technicalities have to be learned we'll write the we'll learn the right stuff at the right time in today's video to enter into the world of intraday trading we are going to learn intraday stock or equity trading that is what we are going to learn learn today in this video everything that you need to know about intraday equity trading so again i always give you the table of contents before we enter into the video so what is intraday trading all that you need to know all the logistics and the complexities behind what makes intraday trading special we'll be discussing about leverage there then we discuss about advantages of intraday trading we'll be discussing about short selling there very important very important concept make sure you watch the video completely then we'll discuss about disadvantages of intraday trading then we'll discuss about how to do intraday trading then we'll discuss about how to measure your returns in intraday trading then we'll discuss about how you also can make big profits by doing intraday trading okay all set then before getting getting into the video let me make one more thing very clear the fact that intraday trading is legit because i've seen a lot of people actually doubting hey whether can you really make money from intraday trading trust me it can be made i personally make that i i post my pnl public live it's out there right there i know personally know a lot of people who are actually doing intraday trading for a living so you know that it is possible and you could make actually make good amount of money by intraday trading but the second point is what you should be focusing on which is 95 to 99 percentage of intraday traders lose money so when you know it's possible you also should know that there's this one avenue where you could lose a lot of money why because people do not learn before doing people just come into the world of stock market they start doing intraday trading and they are bound to lose money that is where we come in right to make sure that we all learn properly we are a sensible stock market trading community we'll all learn well we'll all do this properly and we won't lose a lot of money okay that is one pledge i need from your side along with your attendance marked in the comment section okay give this pledge that you shouldn't you wouldn't go into the market and blindly trade and lose money please don't do that we are a great community here right so that's it a lot being said in the introduction so as i always say make sure that you watch the video completely with full focus and attention to understand all the concepts very clearly right so without further ado let's end the video the name is shar shunsreen welcome to market feed Okay, the first segment of the episode, what is intraday trading? Now, this is something already discussed in the introduction. You know this clearly. Intraday trading is nothing but you buy a stock at some price, you sell the stock on the very same day. That is, we all know the market opens at 9.15 a.m. After 9.15 a.m., at any point of the day, you buy a stock. Then before the market closes at 3.30 p.m. on the same day, you sell it on the same day only. Now, this is called intraday trading. Now, if you buy at a lower price, sell at a higher price, you make profit. You buy at a price, you sell at a lower price, you make loss. It's as easy as that. Then you might ask me, hey, Sharik, then what is the difference between actually intraday trading and maybe even long-term investment other than the time period involved? Right? You buy a stock at 1000 rupees, you sell it after 2-3 years, then it's called long-term investment. You sell it on the same day, it's called intraday trading. Is that so? Is that the only difference? No. That is not the only difference. There is one another crazy animal, a crazy thing which is attributed to us, intraday trading, which makes intraday trading special. It's not just simply buying a stock on a day and selling on the same day. If that is it, it's just a shorter version of long-term investment. Nothing special. But there is something super special which makes intraday trading so lucrative. Now, what is that? That is the next segment of the episode. What makes intraday trading so special? What makes intraday trading so special is the term leverage. Leverage. 
Leverage means free money or extra money offered by your broker so that you can trade with more quantities and you have a probability of making higher profits. I know you're trying a bit to understand this well, right? Don't worry, I'll speak a bit more about this. We'll even go into a very clear example, a story to understand what leverage is and how leverage makes Indrani trading so special. Now, when you're going to buy a stock, now let's take, I've, I've taken an example of Mahindra and Mahindra again. Say you're going to buy a stock of Mahindra and Mahindra. Where do you go to buy a stock? You go to your broker's terminal. When you go to your broker's terminal and when you try to buy Mahindra and Mahindra stock, broker asks you, do you want to buy this stock for an Indrani trading activity or do you want to buy this stock for long-term investment? See, broker is upfront asking you this question. Now, you as a person who, are, who is going there, you have a clear idea if you want to do Indrani trading in Mahindra and Mahindra or if you want to invest in the long-term for Mahindra and Mahindra. Now, here since we are talking about Indrani trading, upfront, very important word here, upfront you are telling your broker that you are going to do Indrani trading in Mahindra and Mahindra. When the broker knows that, he will give you what is called leverage. What is leverage? He is giving you free or extra money. I will give you a very specific example here. In today's stock market world ecosystem, the standard leverage across brokers is 5x. That is, broker gives you, if you have 1000 rupees in your account, if you tell that you are going to do Indrari trading, the bro broker will give you 5000 rupees to trade with. That is free extra money to trade with. Now, when you have that free extra money to trade with, you can trade with more quantities and you stand a chance to make more profits as well. Now, let's go into this example, this story and understand really well how leverage makes Indrani trading so special, so lucrative, so profit giving thing compared to long term investment. We'll do that. Okay. Now take this example where you have a capital of rupees 1000 rupees. Okay. This is the capital that you have with you and you're going to trade in Mahindra and Mahindra. Last video also we took an example of Mahindra and Mahindra. Let's say when the market opens at 9.15 a.m. Uh, the price of Mahindra and Mahindra is 1000 rupees. At 11 a.m. the price goes to 1010 rupees and by 3.30 p.m. when the market closes we don't even know what the price is. We need not even know what the price is. Okay. This is the scenario. Now you have 1000 rupees with you. That is all that you have and you know when the market opens at 9.15 a.m. Mahindra Mahindra is 1000 and you maybe based on your studies, based on your fundamental and technical analysis we discussed in the last video, based on all that you feel that the price can go up from 1000 to 1010 and when you feel that you buy Mahindra and Mahindra at 1000 rupees at 9.15 a.m. Now two ways to buy right. When you go to the broker's terminal, just like I said before, when you go to the broker's terminal, broker will ask you, do you want to do Indrari trading in Mahindra Mahindra? Do you want to do an actual long-term investment route of buying Mahindra Mahindra? That's exactly what I'm showing here. Two routes of buying, right? Now, if you are choosing the investing route, no leverage. You have 1000 rupees. The price of Mahindra Mahindra is 1000 rupees. What can you do? You can only buy one quantity at 1000 rupees. Correct? And then we said that uh, by 11 a.m. the price went up to 1,010 and you feel that, okay, 10 rupees has increased, let me sell. And you sell it at 1,010 rupees. One quantity bought at 1,000 and the same quantity sold at 1,010 rupees. How much is the profit? You made 10 rupees profit. Now let's go into the amazing world of intraday trading. So upfront, if you're telling the broker that, hey, I will do intraday trading in Mahindra and Mahindra, what happens? You can buy not one quantity, but you can actually buy five quantity. Why? Because there is 5x leverage. 5x leverage, I said about it, right? So when the broker knows that upfront, you have said him that you're going to do an intraday trade, they're going to give you 5x leverage. That is until in place of your 1000 rupees capital, the broker will tell you, hey, buy the stock with 5000 rupees capital, 1000 into 5x leverage, right? 1000 into 5 is 5000. The broker will tell you, hey, buy with 5000 rupees capital. So now you have 5000 rupees capital. So what, what can you do? You can buy five quantity. The same scenario from 9.15 a.m. to 11 a.m. Mahindra and Mahindra stock price went up to went up from 1,000 to 1,010. What happened? You're selling the five quantities at 1,010 rupees. What is the profit you're making? 50 rupees. You understand this? Because you said it's an intraday trade up friend, the broker gave you 5x leverage and because of that you are making five times more profit than what you've made in the investing route alone. Now you understand why intraday trading is special because of leverage. Broker gives you leverage, 
free extra money with which you can trade in more stocks and you stand a chance to make higher profits. With this example, I hope you understand the power of leverage, right? power of leverage that makes intraday trading special that is with small capital itself you can make higher profits you can try to make higher profits that is where you can probably ask me this doubt what if the stock price moves down see now it went up by 10 rupees itself you made 50 rupees profit that's really high profits compared to just a 10 rupees move in mahindra and mahindra you can ask the opposite question what if mahindra and mahindra after you buy it here as an intraday trade, if it goes down to 900 rupees, did not go up, your study went wrong and the stock went down to 900 rupees, what will happen? You don't have just one quantity now, now you have 5 quantities with you, 5 into 100 is what you are losing, you lose 500 rupees. How much is your capital? Just 1000 rupees. You lost 500 rupees, you are losing 50% of your capital in one single day. What can you understand here? Leverage is a double-edged sword. It helps you. It gives you a chance to make more profits. If your view and your study goes well, but if your view or study goes bad, you can end up in losing high money as well. That's exactly where in the introduction I said, this is a serious risky business where you have to learn a lot, only then get in, only then you'll be able to make the high profits as expected. Otherwise, you stand a chance to make huge losses as well. So leverage is a double-edged sword. So then there is a question, how can we avoid large losses? Number one answer is something which I just gave you, which is learn properly, understand this and do in a very systematic manner. That is the first way of avoiding large losses number second or the second way of avoiding large loss is by setting a stop loss in your system i know it is a technical term when we go ahead when i'll be showing you how to trade live when i'll be showing you how to use your broker's interface i'll be teaching you what a stop loss is but if i quickly say if you set a stop loss then you wouldn't be going into large loss at all say you can when you enter into a trade say this is an intraday trade you are upfront itself telling your broker that okay i'm buying mahindra and mahindra at 1000 rupees it is an intraday trade i have 1000 rupees give me 5x leverage that is for 5000 rupees I'm going to buy 5 quantity. At that time itself, now you're expecting Mahindra and Mahindra to go up to 1010 so that you can make 50 rupees profit. When you enter itself in your broker's terminal, you can set something called stop loss. You can set the stop loss, for example, at 995 rupees. Now that is you upfront to the broker saying that in case Mahindra and Mahindra goes up to 1003 and all, then it starts moving down and goes down to 995. Like I said now, if it goes down to 995, Sell it then and there. Exit the, exit the trade. Now, when that happens, look at this. No, you're only losing 5 rupees there. You have 5 quantities. You'll only lose 25 rupees. If you would have won, which your target is at 1000 there. If your target is met, you'll make 50 rupees. If your stop loss is set, you're making only 25 rupees. Now, again, setting targets, setting stop loss are technicalities of how you become a good trader, how you operate a broker's terminal, which we would learn in the videos to come. Do not worry. So, in intraday trading, we just learn that we buy a stock on one single day, we sell the stock on the same day itself, just like we saw here. So, we bought it at 1000, we are selling it at 1010. So, selling the stock at 1010 on the sa same day is called squaring of your position again just a technical term which i want all of you know, to know and learn now a good question a good student can ask us it is said we upfront tell the tell to the broker that it's an intraday trade we'll buy it in the morning and we'll sell it at some point maybe after two minutes maybe after two hours maybe after five hours by the time market is closing what if we do not sell that is what if we do not square off our position what then a good question right now that is where we need to understand this is a highly regulated legitimate word and everything is under control now if you do not square off your position before 3 30 the broker will auto square off your position that is if you are in a long position if you have bought a stock but before 3 30 if you do not square off or exit it on your own the broker will do that himself right now what time does the auto square off happen Interesting question. Now that depends from broker to broker. Many brokers do not wait till 3.30 for you to sell your stock. No. So now here is a list of the timings at which different brokers do auto square off. Some brokers do at 3.10 p.m. Some brokers do at 3.15. Some brokers do at 3.20 p.m. Some do at 3.24 p.m. So depending on what broker you, you are using, you can get to know what their auto square off time is. Now you should know that this auto square off is a very tricky thing. That is say at 9.15 a.m. you bought Mahindra and Mahindra at 
1000 rupees after some time it went up to 1008 rupees you wanted it to go up till 1010 so it you saw it going up to 1008 rupees you did not sell you're waiting till the end of the day you feel like okay i'll wait till 3:30 pm so by that time maybe it will go to 1010 you waiting 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 but it did not go what happened it started moving down it went up to went down till 1000 you still did not sell you are waiting till the end of the day maybe it will go back up then you kept waiting 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 but the stock just moved down and down and down maybe it went down till 980 and when it reached 980 the time also became say 3:15 pm which is the auto square of time of your broker the broker will make you exit the position at 980 eventually you will lose money on that position now this is given that you did not set your stop loss at 995 if you had set stop loss then you would have exited there but if you just hold on to the position till the auto square of time no matter where or what the price of the stock is broker will auto square off your position so know that before you get into intraday trading now another doubt that you can probably have is why is the broker even giving leverage I mean, why are they giving leverage to us? Why are they having so much love to us? They are giving us four thousand rupees extra so that we can make higher profits. Why do they do that? The answer is actually pretty simple. For the broker, it is an actually absolutely safe way of making more money. For the broker, a safe way of of making more money because upfront itself, you are telling that it's an intraday trade. that is where the word upfront is important upfront itself you said your broker that is an intraday trade which means that if you buy today you will sell today itself if you do not sell today the broker will do auto square off so the broker knows that if someone takes an intraday position one day the position would be closed the same day itself then where is risk for the broker then broker will give you more money so that more and more people seeing that leverage will come into the market they will trade with higher quantities and if they make high profits these people who are making profits they are making profits from someone else only from the market only broker has nothing to lose if these people are losing money they are losing their own money broker has nothing to lose what is the broker gaining broker is gaining more and more users coming to his platform broker is seeing these people trading with even higher quantities uh, than what originally that they can trade with and they are eventually generating higher brokerage right so this is where i said for the broker giving leverage is a safe way of making more money now if i would actually be a bit philosophical and uh, and talk about this i would even say that in fact intraday traders and traders in general are so very important for the market because when there are a lot of trading activities happening in the market in different stocks and asset classes at every point of time it adds to the liquidity of that underlying asset of that asset it also adds to better price discovery of that stock now you might find this you might not even understand this since you are uh, hearing for the first time but also know the fact that because brokers provide leverage since more and more traders come in it is good for the stock market that is also a very important thing at least now you largely understand what intraday trading is and leverage is what makes it super special and why brokers actually give leverage now that you have understood so far let's enter the next segment of this video advantages of intraday trading the very first advantage is what we have been discussing so far which is leverage that is since the broker is giving us more money we can trade with higher quantities and we can probably make higher profits amazing right that definitely makes intraday trading intraday equity trading amazing so the second advantage is somewhere where i'll have to take some more of your time a very important concept we are going to learn in the second advantage that is no matter what the condition of the stock is if the stock is moving up or even if the stock is moving down you can make money in intraday trading did you know that When I got to know this for the very first time, I felt like, oh my God, what sorcery is this? What magic is this? Even if the stock is moving down, I can make money. That is exactly what short selling us. That is exactly what short selling helps you in intraday trading. That is where we have to come to this example and learn a bit about short selling. Now, intraday trading, you can either take a long position or a short position. Very important terminologies. You have to understand this. Okay, in intraday trading, there is either a long position you can take or a short position. If you are taking a long position, this is the previous example that we saw. We are buying first and then later we will sell it. buying first and selling later is taking a long position and a short position is when you sell first and later then you buy it back i did not understand this when i heard this for the very first time how do i sell something which i don't even have 
because in short selling you sell a stock in the morning or at some point of time and after some time you buy it back how do you sell something that you do not have at all now that is the world of short selling we'll actually go into the logic and the stories behind which enables short selling right anyways first let's take an example as always in understanding what short selling is and how it works now let's say again the example is mahindra and mahindra at 9 15 a.m the stock opened at 1000 rupees and then you're watching the stock it's moving down 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 and at 11 a.m the stock came down to 990 rupees okay then you got to feel that okay the stock is moving down then you do, did some technical analysis we'll definitely talk learn about technical analysis going ahead in the series so you did some technical analysis and studies and you felt that the stock would move down in the day you felt that and eventually the stock by 3 30 pm actually went down to 9 50. you felt that at 11 am itself and you feeling that you sold mahindra and mahindra okay with if you had only 1000 rupees just like the previous example you go to your broker you sell that as an intraday trade if you only say it's an intraday trade upfront where you can sell a stock otherwise you cannot sell a stock if i go back yeah if we go back if it's an investing if you are upfront you are not telling it's an intraday trade upfront if you are telling it's a long-term investment the broker will not even allow you to do short selling right you have to take that as an intraday trade only then the broker will allow you to sell the stock at what price at 990 then it went it actually went against you and you were a bit worried but eventually then there was a steep fall and by 2 pm the stock's price came down to 960 rupees and there you exit your position you square off your position how do you square off or exit a sell position by buying it back so you buy uh mahindra and mahindra stocks back so that you exit your short or your sell position at 960 rupees what did you make here you made 30 rupees profit and how many quantities do you do you have again going back to the same example you have uh, five quantities which is rupees 150 rupees profit for you amazing right this is short selling you sell first and then you later buy it back I, I hope you understood what this trading style is this is called short selling but you would definitely have doubts as to how this works how short selling works that is what we want to learn now now we'll go through an entire story to understand how you can actually sell something in the beginning which you don't actually have that is where you have to give some attention this is like magicians telling something and you have to uh, give attention right you are not you're selling something at 11 a.m but that sale do not happen till 3 30 p.m so when at 11 a.m when you are telling that you are selling five shares of mahindra and mahindra that order goes into the national stock exchange via your broker the order goes into nse and the nse would actually find a buyer who would buy five shares of mahindra and mahindra at 990 rupees at 990 but at 11 a.m the stock doesn't necessarily go from your dmat account into the buyer's account that does not happen at 11 a.m that happens all the order matching and order finalization happens only after 3 30 pm so when you say that you will sell uh, five shares of mahindra mahindra at 9 a.m already from the market a buyer who is ready to buy it at 9 90 is found and kept okay and the nsc will also tell after 3 30 pm we'll give it to you that is by 3 30 pm when you actually have five shares of mahindra mahindra with you you can give that shares to this buyer done right very easy so the point here is at 11 a.m when you are selling it the actual sale doesn't happen it's more like the exchange finding a buyer and telling that after 3 30 we'll give the share to you the buyer is already found and kept there and maybe after 2 p.m you buy it right and when you buy it do you actually get shares there no when you buy it the order just goes in five shares to be bought at what 960 rupees that just goes into the exchange and the exchange finds another seller who is willing to sell five shares of Mahindra and Mahindra at rupees 960. Now that is also just said. Now after 3.30 p.m. every order matching happens. Now from this seller at 960 rupees Mahindra and Mahindra shares would come to you. Now you have five shares of Mahindra and Mahindra with you. And that shares would go to this buyer all happening after 3.30 p.m. Now you understand the story, the logic which actually allows short selling to even happen. This is a very simple story. This is super logical. I hope you understand that. Otherwise, you just take a post, try understanding this, or maybe go behind watch this again. I'm sure you'll understand this amazing concept of short selling. Again, this is the second advantage of intraday trading, right? Where intraday trading allows us to make money even if the market is going up or even if the stock is going up, the stock is going down also. Haven't you heard? Nifty crashed. All stocks are falling down. And you see a lot of people being worried. 
but intraday traders are never worried because for them even if there is a steep fall in all the stocks they are happy because they can do short selling in stocks and still make money amazing right third advantage of intraday trading over other trading which is positional or swing trading is that there is no overnight risk say you are trading only when the market opens at 9:15 am till 3:30 pm after that maybe overnight there is some global economic issue which happened maybe a war happened somewhere or the global market started falling and all of a sudden maybe you are in a long position and the next day the markets opened lower and the stock also opened much lower such things happen so when you are only doing intraday trading you have no overnight risk you are only trading when you are in the market once the market closes you can shut shut down your laptop your trading terminal and you can relax and be chilled overnight and next day when the market opens you can trade again now this is one thing which makes intraday trading a comparatively peaceful way of trading compared to uh, positional or swing trading advantages 4 and 5 are not really specific to intraday trading alone those are advantages of trading itself now, number 4 is intraday trading or trading in general is a great business so if you really want to make some extra money extra income in your life uh, and if you are planning to start a business intraday trading or trading in general is a good business to start because it is super convenient you can do at any at from any place at any point of time without depending on anyone how awesome is that you don't have to depend on opening a shop setting employees bringing uh, bringing or setting up the shop and all of those stuff you don't have to worry about anything at all you can travel all around the world if you have a phone or a laptop if you have an internet connection you can trade from anywhere that is a super convenient way of living it you can it can even make you a digital nomad right so that so i would say intraday trading or trading in general is a great convenient business to start the last and the fifth advantage is that cash flow right because this is trading again not specific to intraday trading trading gives you cash flow that is when you do intraday trading very specific here every day if you are making profits that profit is in the form of cash actual real liquid money which comes into your account now isn't that awesome uh, as robert kiyosaki has famously said cash flow is king cash flow is always much better than capital appreciation no i am not against capital appreciation that should be done which is again going back yeah so cash flow is from trading growing your money or capital appreciation from long term investment this everyone should do but from trading you can actually generate cash and when it comes to intraday trading every day you if you are making profits you are actually making liquid money every single day that is in the case of long term investment you are staying invested for 10 20 30 years that is even after 10 years you are seeing profits only on screen maybe you are seeing 10 lakh rupees of profit from your long term investment over 10 years but that is virtual money on screen inter when it comes to intraday trading if you are even making 2000 rupees a day that 2000 rupees came to you as cash there is a difference there i hope you understand that now if you have understood all these advantages let's quickly move ahead and discuss about the disadvantages of intraday trading first disadvantage is the same first advantage which is leverage because when we learned about leverage i clearly mentioned that it is a double edged sword so it has a lot of advantages it has clear disadvantages as well because since you are getting more money to trade with your losses can also be really large so be very careful there the second disadvantage is the fact that 95 99 percentage of intraday traders are losing money which means that it is seriously not an easy thing to do so that is where a lot of people i again warn you about this in the introduction a lot of people just come into the market fascinated by intraday trading without learning well they just start doing intraday trading and they burn away their hard earned money so please 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 don't don't do that this is a major disadvantage that is where i would say if you are getting into intraday trading if you are try to learn it first really well which i'll help you with the whole series playlist is here for you do not worry even after learning well practice first when you are practice start trading with money which you can afford to lose in the initial days maybe you have 1 lakh rupees with you but start trading with just 5000 rupees maybe test the waters practice a lot practice makes a man perfect right so learn really well practice with very less capital only then you'll get better cool now the third and the last reset one is is that it is a very consuming trading activity not just time but also your mental attention because when 
those who have done intraday trading you'll know this right from 9:15 am till 3:30 pm you are sitting in front of the trading terminal and you're super focused and you're super concerned about your position as well once you enter a position it's all about the stock moving up and down right so you're always super tensed as well to an extent as to what will happen what will not happen will it go into loss so when you start doing you'll understand what i'm talking about there is a psychological side to this as well so it is super draining i would say so that also clearly is a disadvantage okay very good you have understood so far you understood what intraday trading is the logistics and the complexities before, behind that how it is actually possible what short selling us what leverage is how it makes intraday trading special you have understood all this now i know you are super pumped to start intraday trading so the next question is how do you even start intraday trading the answer is very simple I have posted a video two videos before that is why actually opening a DMAT account right so open a DMAT account and a trading account with a really good broker probably Zeroda or Fires you can watch the video to understand how to open a DMAT account the links to open the account are also there in the description below so you open an account then I'll teach you how to do intraday trading right again not a part of this video it would make this really long than what it already is so in the coming weeks itself we'll have live videos as to how to do intraday trading I'll teach you no worries at all now say you started doing intraday trading also what is the next thing I super want you to know about that is measuring your returns why I am stressing about this so much is the fact that the world of stock market and intraday trading was managed in a very bad way where people talk about hey i made 1000 rupees today hey i made 5000 rupees today hey I, ma I made 1 lakh rupees today now this is measuring your returns in terms of absolute value you're telling you made 1000 rupees today now how is it even valuable maybe you traded with 1 crore rupees capital with 1 crore rupees maybe you made 1000 rupees is it valuable not at, not at all valuable what if you made 1000 rupees with 10000 rupees capital that is 10 percentage roi return on investment from that trade what do you understand just telling how much x amount of money you made from a trade is not helping you is not helping others also in order to understand about your performance what is important what is important is to understand the roi percentage of your trade the return of return on investment of your trade again we learned about this when it came to long-term investment if you remember we learned about the trade we learned about the term cagr just like that now this is trading in direct trading you did you had a capital of 1000 rupees right you had a capital of 1000 rupees you made a profit of 50 how do you calculate roi roi is equal to the profit you generated divided by the capital you brought in right capital brought in is 1000 into 100 to make this a percentage now 0 0 0 0 now 50 divided by, by 10 is 5 percentage now from this trade your ROI of this trade is 5 percentage. So when you start intraday trading, when you make, maybe you made 4,000 rupees a day. Don't go around people telling that, hey, I made 4,000 rupees a day. You can tell that. You can tell, hey, I made 4,000 rupees from a trade and th from that trade, my ROI is 3 percentage. So when you talk about ROI also along with your returns or along with your absolute money you actually made is when it makes the trade complete right when you measure the performance of the trade effectively and that takes us to the final question that you should ask here now how to make huge profits like others from intraday trading the answer is super simple and i'm sure you're expecting this answer from me which is to learn really well to have really good robust systems and strategies that work in intraday trading which i'll teach you in a while do not worry the uh, learning series is only progressing i'll teach you a lot of strategies and a lot of technical analysis with which you can become a good intraday trader so you're learning the basics you're learning good strategies then practice really well which will definitely make you all great intraday traders. Do not worry, be worried at all. I am here for you. The whole community here is here for us. So mentioning about the community, we do maintain an exclusive community in Market Feed app. So you can download the app right away and join that exclusive community. I am there, others are there. We can definitely make sure that we all win. 
So that is said from my side for this uh, in this video, right? Now again, the agenda was super clear to understand more about the basics of intraday equity investment. Now that is super clear. I know we haven't discussed about futures and options intraday trading. We haven't discussed about stocks positional or swing trading. We also haven't discussed about futures and options positional or swing trading, which we will, since I, uh, as I said in the introduction, going ahead in the series, we'll discuss about all that. But if you understood intraday stock trading and all the concepts that we discussed in today's video you have a lot of concepts clear you will clearly understand whatever we are going to discuss in the coming videos now speaking about the coming videos the coming videos are going to be practical videos of how to actually buy a stock by going into your terminal what are the different order types we're going to do that so as always if you like the video make sure that you smash the like button if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet what are you waiting for do subscribe to the channel and as i always say we are building india's the best stock trading community here so make sure that you share the video with your friends and family invite them also to join this learning trading growing community right so also the comment section is not just for marking your attendance which i believe that you have already done also make sure that you're at in the comment section you ask a lot of doubts you learn really well so as i always say let's learn trade, invest and grow together. See you in the next episode. Bye-bye.